All right. Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you so much for joining another Friday class. My name is Mapuana. I host these classes for anyone in doTERRA who is trying to create a healthy lifestyle, right? Because that is what doTERRA is all about, using their supplements and essential oils to create a healthy lifestyle where we're actually thriving and not just surviving, right? I hope you like that because a lot of people are in survival mode, right? Have you ever been there? Most of us have. And, you know, temporarily it's okay to exist in survivor survival mode, but we really want to be thriving. And so how do we do that? We use oils every single day for all types of reasons, both on the physical and on the emotional side, right? So welcome to our class. So glad to have you here. Every Friday we learn from each other. We inspire one another. And so here we are to talk about the subject of our muscular system. So that's a huge umbrella topic. There's a lot of different ways that we can go um, and discuss things, right? But we're gonna keep it simple because we've only got a certain amount of time here on a Friday. And we're gonna just do an overview and we're gonna incorporate essential oils all along the way to help us learn how to support our muscular system so that it functions better. And we're moving in a smooth, easy way. I have invited my good friend, Crystal Averhoff to help me with this class today. So let's give her a round of applause. Please use that reactions button as well as the chat on the bottom of your screen to drop any questions or comments. Crystal lives in Phoenix, Arizona. And as you know, I have people all across the country on my team. And I am interested in helping everybody to thrive where, when it comes to their essential oil business. She is a biomagnetic therapist and such a, has such a brilliant mind. She's a lover of learning new things. And so welcome, Crystal, to our class today. And thank you so much for helping me teach. Hi, thanks. Thanks for letting me help you. You're welcome. We're excited to see you um, participate in some of this. So I am going to actually shrink my zoom so that i can get some of my notes up so joan i've made you co-host and crystal if anything takes place over there because i can't see anything on zoom you just let me know and interrupt me okay now the muscular system consists of 650 muscles in three main categories and when we say the muscular system most people only think of skeletal muscle but there is also smooth and cardiac muscle as well. It's controlled by the nervous system via two pathways, somatic and autonomic. Only skeletal muscles fall into the somatic category, meaning that they are under voluntary control. So these are the muscles attached to the skeleton. They are striated in appearance and they provide strength, balance, posture, movement, and heat for the body. And the tendons, they're bands of fibrous tissue that are attached to the skeletal muscles and they allow movement with throughout the whole body. And when the skeletal muscles contract, it pulls the tendon to which it's attached, causing the tendon to pull on the bone and resulting in movement. L ligaments though, on the other hand, are fibrous materials. They connect bone to bone and hold the skeletal structure together. But once injured, both of them are gonna require a lot of healing time and they're prone to weakness or re-injury and a lot of rest is required. A scar tissue usually takes at least 90 days to form. Once they're formed, the fibers can take up to another seven to nine months to reach the maximum strength again. Yes, and so autonomic muscles contract and relax involuntary and include both smooth and cardiac muscles. So smooth muscles are non-striated and are typically found in layers, one behind the other. They can be found in the walls of internal organs, 
such as blood vessels, intestines, bladder, digestive system, and the stomach. They're constantly at work performing their functions throughout the body. And then cardiac muscles, they're specific to the heart. They're also known as the myocardium. These are involuntary muscles and they contract to pump blood through the heart and then they relax to allow blood to return after it's carried the vital oxygen and all the nutrients to the body. Yes, so the muscular system is constantly in motion and supporting vital body functions. Now, essential oils have a unique ability to affect muscles and connective tissue and to support muscle function on a cellular level. So when you apply your oils to support your muscular system, you can think intentional thoughts to direct the oils down to the cellular level. You can actually name and maybe say an intention with the specific muscle that you're working with. Once the oils are applied, users often experience near instant relief. And I'm sure many of you here have experienced that before. Minor issues and injuries are easily managed with either topical or internal application. And for more serious muscle and tendon issues, of course, professional medical care is appropriate. Perhaps you need to add on some physical therapy, specific exercises to strengthen muscles, right? Traditional treatment methods can be enhanced and supported with all of our essential oils and nutritional supplements. So right now we're gonna watch a little video. Let me... Well, I'm going to share a good YouTube channel with you that I subscribe to. It's called, can you see that Crystal? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna have to shrink that and move that. It's called Sportology, the science and study of sports, okay? So I highly recommend that you go on this YouTube channel and just kind of watch a few videos so that you understand even more about the muscular system. If you notice here, they're very short. This one's on tendons 101, ligament basics, cartilage and bone basics. They're less than five minutes and we, are going to enjoy the one about muscle basics. Understand the basics. It makes you sound smarter. And well, you don't want to be that guy who doesn't know his basic muscle biology, yet likes to give everyone training advice. First, it's important to understand that your muscles not only control every movement you consciously make, but they also control every movement you don't. Hold on just a second. Let's see if the audio and the oh, video. Yeah. That means muscles control the movement of food down your esophagus. They control blood pressure by constricting yeah, arteries. Showing. They beat your heart. Based on their function and structure, we divide muscles into three types. Cardiac muscle, which is found in your heart. Smooth muscle, found in places like your stomach, intestines, and blood vessels. And finally, skeletal muscle, which is usually attached to bones. There's 640 of them, and they're the only ones that we can consciously move. They're also what we normally think of when we think of muscles. Now let's look at a typical skeletal muscle, your biceps. It looks a bit like this. And the actual muscle is the red part. It connects up here to your shoulder via tendons, and down here it connects via tendons to your radius. The work of contract- You can't see it, Mapo. Okay, thank you. Just wanted to make sure, hold on just a second. Cause when you share a video and then you enlarge the screen, Let's see if that works. Exit. Can you see it now? Can't see the video. Can you, uh, hey, Crystal, can you unmute yourself? Oh, screen share is paused. Yeah. Stop screen share. Let's start again and click on this one and this one. Can you see that, Crystal? Yes. Now we can. Okay, so it says bus muscle basics. 
So yeah. I'm just going to play it like this because when I large screen it to get rid of all that stuff on the right hand side, it throws off the audio and the visual. OK, so let's just muscle basics. It seems like everyone wants stronger, more toned muscles. But if you're going to talk about how to get those bigger muscles, you first need to understand the basics. It makes you sound smarter. And well, you don't want to be that guy who doesn't know his basic muscle biology, yet likes to give everyone training advice. First, it's important to understand that your muscles not only control every movement you consciously make, but they also control every movement you don't know you're making. That means muscles control the movement of food down your esophagus, they control blood pressure by constricting arteries, and they beat your heart. Based on their function and structure, we divide muscles into three types. Cardiac muscle, which is found in your heart. Smooth muscle, found in places like your stomach, intestines, and blood vessels. And finally, skeletal muscle, which is usually attached to bones. There's 640 of them, and they're the only ones that we can consciously move. They're also what we normally think of when we think of muscles. Now let's look at a typical skeletal muscle. Your biceps. It looks a bit like this. And the actual muscle is the red part. It connects up here to your shoulder via tendons, and down here it connects via tendons to your radius. The work of contracting and shortening is all done right here in this middle part via the muscle cells. And in anyone's biceps, we're talking on the order of a billion muscle cells. Now these muscle cells are packaged within bundles, within bundles, in the larger framework of the muscle, and they're all running lengthwise down the muscle. Now here's the cool part. A single muscle cell, called a muscle fiber, is long. It's also packed full of these long myofibrils. If you were to zoom into a myofibril, you'd see that they're made up of little sections called sarcomeres that have this cool alternating pattern of myofilaments. This is where the real work of your muscle happens. Let's zoom in even further. You have myosin and actin filaments running parallel to each other. The myosin filaments all have these bent extensions on them. With the addition of energy and a signal from the nervous system, they essentially grab onto the actin filaments, bend to pull it along, and then release. With millions and billions of these working together, you're able to lift stuff. Now it's important at this stage to remember that there are two different types of skeletal muscle fibers. They're often referred to as slow twitch and fast twitch. Fast twitch muscles are optimized for short explosive bursts, but they tire quickly. Slow twitch don't have much short term power, but are really good at endurance. Everyone is born with a certain ratio of these, but depending on how you train, you can optimize your whole muscular system for different sports. The next thing to understand is that muscles grow first by breaking down, then rebuilding the tissue. For muscle breakdown and growth to occur, you must force your muscles to adapt by creating stress that's different than your previous threshold that your body's already adapted to. Now this can be done by lifting heavier weights, continually changing your exercise, and pushing your muscles to fatigue. That's when you feel the burn. After the workout is completed, the most important part begins, which is adequate rest and providing ample fuel to your muscles so they can regenerate and grow. The reason everyone says you need protein has everything to do with the basic biology we talked about. Those myofilaments, both the actin and myosin, are just long chains of proteins. If you don't have enough protein in your body, your body won't start rebuilding and growing those filaments. And that's where the real work is done. It's as simple as that. So there you have it. A few muscle basics so that you can be smarter and more informed when you're trying to build and tone your muscles. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I, I work really hard on them. I'm trying to make sure that I can pass on this basic fundamental sports science knowledge to you. And by the way, we're doing this whole sports science video in tandem with Ortho Carolina. Be sure that you check out the next video. We're heading to the gym with Dr. Major. We're going to find out how to train smarter and. All righty. So that was a brief overview of muscle basics, right? You can watch it over and over again and learn something new all the time. I can't reiterate or re-explain the whole video. All I know is that we are marvelously created and our essential oils and supplements totally help us to take care of it. So we're going to go refer to the Essential Life book, which is where we took most of our information from, and now talk about some of the single oils as well as the blends that we can use. So Crystal is going to cover that part. Yeah. So the single oils that are available to help relax and heal the muscles and decrease spasms are majorium, basil, and frankincense. And then if you're looking to promote blood flow to the muscles and connective tissue, reduce, reduce pain, and then the spasms, cypress and Siberian fir are good. And then copaipa is, re reduces muscle aches and pain. I use that one all the time. 
Lemongrass soothes muscle aches and supports connective tissue repair. And then peppermint and eucalyptus, they cool and stimulate muscles. Someone was talking about peppermint right before our class today. And then wintergreen and ginger are good for warm and they help stimulate the muscles. The blends we have are Aroma Touch, Deep Blue, which I know a lot of people use, Rescuer, Past Tense, and DDR Prime. Awesome. So that's just the oils, okay? So most people use them topically and aromatically. Sometimes you mix oils in an empty veggie capsule and take them internally. But as far as supplements are concerned, don't forget about the bone nutrient complex, Copiva soft gels, CDR prime soft gels, deep blue polyphenol complex. In our new book, it even lists the meta power advantage. Of course, if you know anything about that, it's because of the collagen, right? That's our collagen product. Microplex DMZ, Mito2 Max, turmeric dual capsules, and even Zendocrine soft gels. Now you might think, why Zendocrine soft gels? Zendocrines are no, Zendocrine blend is known to help detox. Well, because muscles need stress and repair. So think about how Zendocrine could help in that way. Is that somebody who needs to mute? Can you hear that too, Crystal, or no? Uh, it's Maggie Garcia. Maggie, oh, Maggie okay. Garcia is not on mute. Oh, okay. Let me see if I could find her. Maggie, can you please mute, Sudi? There you go. I got her. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to scoot down in the book to the section that's called conditions. So sometimes when we mention the muscular system, we think immediately about problems, right? Instead of healing and um and supporting it and building it so if you have bruising or circulation issues whether it be lack of or you want to you know increase circulation a connective tissue fascia tendons cramping charlie horse this is all found in the book it will give you the specific oils for this for these conditions uh, fibromyalgia headaches uh, hernias inguinal hernias inflammation acute as well as chronic, uh, muscle development. Think children going through, what do they call those again? Um, growth spurts. Uh, we have oils that have helped many children. Uh, neuralgia, numbness, pain as in burning, okay? Uh, dull, chronic, achy, sharp pain, even paralysis, Bell's palsy. Uh, Parkinson's disease, spasms, tendinitis, tendinosis, tingling, walking on the toes, even whiplash. So all types of muscle issues can be helped with our essential oils and supplements. And if you have a personal experience that you would like to share in just a few minutes, please feel free to do that. Okay. Now, I am actually going to share screen again because you might want to take a picture. You might want to take a picture of my, let's see, did I bring them up? My two slides that I made. <laughs> my girl who does all of my graphics was not available. And so this is simply what you get from me. <laughs> get ready to take a picture. This first slide, all four recipes go in a 5 ml roller bottle, okay? So you can handle muscle cramps. Not so we can see half the screen. Okay, hold on just a second. Let me try this again, this one. How's that? Yep, looks good. Perfect. So all of these are for five mLs. They have about three to four oils mixtures, right? Ginger, black pepper, cinnamon bark. That one's really strong. And you're looking 
The most out of one oil is eight drops. So not a whole lot of oil. You would put all of these oils into the 5 ml, then top it off with fractionated coconut oil or whatever carrier oil you prefer. But look at some of these oils. You've probably used some before, maybe on a single basis. Cypress, great for circulation, right? Have you ever thought about adding lemongrass, marjoram, or even ginger in a roller bottle? Sometimes it's good for us to see these recipes so that we can get different ideas of how to mix up our oils to have a different effect, okay? Now let's see if this button works. Awesome, it worked. Okay, so these recipes are all for a 10 ml roller bottle. So there's only two, muscle relaxing blend and muscle relief blend, but the oils are different. Black spruce, Roman chamomile, cedarwood, copaiba, and turmeric. Then you have turmeric, marjoram, black pepper, rosemary, peppermint, and copaiba. Some pretty powerful stuff there, right? And when you mix it all together, then you have your own little recipe and you get to work with a, bl a, a blend that you made at home. So I hope you like those. Can I close this out? Everybody got a picture of that? If you need the picture. No, I have it. I'm gonna give a picture of it now. Like, oh my. Ooh. It's going to be on YouTube, right? Yep. This okay. recorded class will be posted on my YouTube videos. I mean, a uh, channel. So you can go there to review it and get the recipes if you weren't able to catch a picture of those right now. So, so we have a lot to help us support our muscular system. On YouTube, I can't get it. This was just a brief overview of how to do this. And now I would like to open it up for questions, stories, or any other comments. Would anybody like to share? Aurora, you have your hand up. Yeah, last weekend we were at a get together and one of my friend's sons, a teenage boy, major growth spurts right now, and his hips have been really bothering him and nothing's been helping. So I had a pain blend I put together from a, um, a cross line uh, the tear person and it put it in a 30 ml dropper bottle. So I tripled the recipe is what I did to have a roller bottle. And I put some in his hand. I said, go to the bathroom, put this on your hips. Came back like five, 10 minutes later and he said the pain was gone. So it definitely, you get the right blend. Not every blend works for the same person, but you get the right blend and it does help. Good job sharing. It helps, definitely. So thank you for that story. Marva Smith, you have your hand up? Yes, I um, injured or more or less broke my the fingers in my, I'm sorry, the bones in my index finger in the first part of the joint pulling weeds. And so the bones have popped out and every time I would touch something, I'd re-injure them. But I used helichrysum as the stitches, and then I used Arborvita because that was what was there. And both of them have worked really well. The bones have like mended themselves back into place and I'm not re-straining them as much as I have been. Awesome, two good oils, Helichrysum and Arborvitae. Very, very powerful. And then combined, yeah, you hit a jackpot there, I would say so. Dee, you have your hand up? Yes, I just wanted to know in the Life Essential book, what page is that, please? When you're talking about the fibromyalgia? That's a good question. I don't have my book on me right now, but Crystal looks like she's looking it up, so maybe she'll find it for you. And okay. then she could um, drop that in the chat, Crystal, okay? When Thank you find you. It. You're welcome. I do know that it is under the muscular system under focus areas. So, um, but if you want a specific page, maybe Crystal could drop that in the chat. So I have a personal story. I injured my knee a couple of weeks ago on vacation and it's taken me a long time to heal it. Like I say a couple of weeks because I usually am able to take care of things in a couple of days. So it feels like it's been a long time, but I was doing everything, uh, to help myself as far as oils and supplements are concerned. But I had to also add 
acupuncture, chiropractic care, ultrasound, heat, ice, an ACE bandage, a knee wrap, you know, so when we suffer with things, remember we have a whole bag of tools to use to help ourselves, not only just our supplements and doTERRA, but we have to stack on everything else that we know about in order to help our bodies heal. And it is possible. I am walking, I am climbing stairs. It's a little difficult to dance still, <laughs> but I will get there. <laughs> So I hope you have enjoyed our class. I hope you've learned something new and I hope that you will continue to join our other Friday classes. We're going to wrap it up with a raffle and a few announcements next week, Friday. We will meet up here again at three o'clock. We are going to be talking about brain health. So very, very important, right? Brain health. Our doTERRA convention is only eight weeks away. So if you're planning on going, um, we'll meet you there. I'll see you there in person. If you see me, please come give me a hug and say hello. And if you're virtual, please reach out and let me know what you are enjoying on the day that you're watching, because it's always nice to keep in touch with the people who are still at home. Last but not least, um, let's see. Next week, Tuesday, Premier and above people who are doing the business are going to be getting on a special corporate call for a sneak peek at the products that they're meant they're releasing in convention. So we're super excited about that. And I will be sharing some of that information with you next week, Friday on the call. So hope you guys are able to tune in. Alrighty, so there is 27 people here. And so Crystal, you did such a good job. Thank you so much. Give me a number between one and 27, please. Oh. Eight. Okay. And the winner is Maggie Garcia. Congratulations, Maggie. Let me write this down. Maggie, who invited you? Nympa. All righty. Nympha, you know how this works. I need her address, okay, so I can get this mailed out to her. Now, this week, I am giving away a goodie bag. It's got three items in it. So you have a roller bottle of Supermint. You have the lip balm. And you have a spray Terra Shield, which is great for summertime bugs and mosquitoes outside. So I'm going to put this in a packet and get that mailed out to you, okay? As always, thank you so much for joining us here on Friday. It is well worth your time to invest this little bit of time to learn how to use our products, right? So thank you all very much. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week, Friday. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Mabu. You're thank welcome. Thank you, Mabu. Bye. Thank you. Press stop.